Why get other insurance if you have VA health care? In this video, we'll explain how VA works with other health insurance. Why VA asks about other coverages? Why does VA require you to provide information on your health insurance coverage, including coverage under a spouse's plan? They ask for this information because they have to build your private insurance in provider for any care, supplies, or medicine they provide to treat your non-servicial connected conditions, illnesses, or injuries that aren't related to your military service. They don't bill Medicare or Medicaid, but may bill Medicare supplemental health insurance or covered services. So here's a chart. Is this person currently covered by any of the following types of health insurance or health coverage plans? So now you know why they asked that. Now, non-service care. What if your health insurance provider doesn't cover all the non-service connected care that the VA bills them for? You won't have to pay any unpaid balance not covered by your health insurance provider. But depending on your eligibility priority group, you may have to pay a VA co-payment for non-service connected care. Does it help me in any way to give VA my health insurance information? Yes. We just covered that, but here I go again. Giving the VA your health insurance information helps you because, one, when your private insurance provider pays them for a, your non-service connected care, VA may be able to use the funds to offset part or all of your VA co-payment. Your private insurer may occupy, apply your VA health care charges toward your annual deductible, the amount of money you pay toward your care each year before your insurance pays uh, for care. Does your current health insurance status affect whether you get VA health care benefits? No, unequivocally no. Whether or not you have health insurance coverage doesn't affect the VA health care benefits you get. Note, it's always a good idea to let your VA doctor know that you're receiving care outside VA. This helps your provider coordinate your care to help keep you safe and make sure you're getting care that's proven to work and that meets your specific needs. Start the, stop the video for a second and look at this accessing community care chart. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but you could stop the video and, and take your time with it. If you are accepted into VA health care program, should, should you give up your private health insurance or other insurance like TRICARE or Medicare? If, um, if you're accepted into the VA health care program, this is your decision. You may save money if you drop your private health insurance, but there are risks. The VA encourages you to keep your insurance because, one, the VA doesn't normally provide care for veterans' family members. So if you drop your private insurance plan, your family may have no health insurance coverage. The VA doesn't know if Congress will provide enough funding in future years for it to care for all veterans who are signed up for a VA health care. If in one of the lower if you are one of the lower priority groups, you may lose your VA health care benefits in future in the future. And if you don't keep your private insurance, this would leave you without any coverage. Three, if you have Medicare Part D coverage for doctors and outpatient services and you cancel it, you won't be able to get it back until January of the following year, and you may have to pay a penalty to get your health care coverage back. Should you sign up for Medicare when you turn 65? Yes, absolutely. The VA encourages you to sign up for Medicare as soon as you can. This is because the VA not, doesn't know if Congress will provide enough funding in future years for it to provide care for all benefits who are signed up for the VA health care. If you're one of the lower priority groups, you may lose your VA health care benefits in the future. So word to the wise. Once you turn 65 or you have two years of disability and get Medicare, definitely sign up for it. Having Medicare means you're covered if you need to go to a non-VA hospital or doctor, so you have more options to choose from. If you delay signing up for Medicare Part B, coverage for doctors and outpatient services, and then 
uh, need to sign up later because you lost your VA health benefits or need more choice in health care, you will pay a penalty. This penalty gets bigger each year you delay signing up, and you'll pay it every year for the rest of your life. Let me read that again. This penalty gets bigger each and every year you delay signing up, and you'll pay it for every year for the rest of your life. Word to the wise, don't delay. If you sign up for Medicare Part D coverage, coverage for prescription drugs, you'll be able to use it to get medicine from non-VA health doctors and will fi- and you'll fill your prescription at your local pharmacy instead of through the VA mail order service. But you should know that VA prescription drug coverage is better than Medicare coverage and there's no penalty for delaying Medicare Part D. There is a penalty for Part B, but not for Part D. Having both VA and Medicare. If you signed up for a VA health care and you have also Medicare, what's covered by each? You'll need to choose which benefits to use each time you receive care. To use VA benefits, you need to get care from the VA medical center or other VA location. The VA also covers your health care if you are pre-authorized you, if you were pre-authorized, meaning you give the, we give you permission ahead of time. To get services in a non-VA hospital or other care setting, keep in mind that you may need to pay a VA co-payment for non-service connected care. If you go to a non-VA care setting, Medicare may pay for your care. Or if the VA unauthorized some services in a non-VA location, then Medicare may pay for the other services you may need during your stay. Check your Medicare plan so you know which care locations and services you're covered for. Take a minute here again, Medicare and VA services benefits, a quick primer. Healthcare savings account and VA care. Can you use healthcare savings account, HSA or health reimbursement arrangements, HRA, to help pay for VA care for non-service connected benefits? Yes, you can. The VA may bill and accept reimbursement from high deductible health plans, HDHPs, for medical care and services to treat your non-service connected conditions. If you have a HDHP linked to an HSA, you can use your HSA to pay your VA co-payments for non-service connected care. The VA may also accept reimbursement from HRAs for care the VA provides to treat your non-service connected conditions. So if you have these plans, you can coordinate them. InsuredMet.com is our website where we have many, many articles and information for seniors and veterans because we're serving the needs of seniors and veterans. Senior Health Corps. I'm Bill Vargas, Independent Medicare Agent. Please subscribe, care, and and like, and share this video. You know, there's a lot of veterans that need this information. So help us out, help your fellow veterans, and help your seniors, and put this word out about this valuable information. Please subscribe, like, and share. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.